Is group over? Uh, not quite, but Julia should be back soon. Dr. Michaels, I wanted to ask your opinion on something. What is it? Well, Dr. Hughes was just here. Julia told him that she got pregnant on purpose because I'd always wanted a baby. That's strange. Yeah, yeah. that's what I thought. Because Julia told me that the pregnancy was an accident. That, that she even said the same things today. Well, do you think Dr. Hughes could have gotten the details confused? I, I had always begun to wonder if our marriage was a mistake when Julia told me she was pregnant. But I, I, I didn't want to run out on her and the baby. I wanted to try and make it work. But if she had been lying to me this entire time, do you really think that's possible? It could be possible. It just doesn't change yeah, anything. Yeah, but I'd always taken everything that Julia said at face value. Now I'm beginning to wonder if I should have. Jack, I know you want out of this marriage, but you're still no, going to have to I am to talking Julia's... about a pattern here. A pattern that's irrelevant. Julia is ill. Obviously, her behavior is going to be inconsistent. But that's all the more reason to avoid talking about divorce until she's stronger. Yeah. What if Julia's stronger than either of us knows? Is it possible that she could be lying to both of us? Could she be faking her ailment to keep me from leaving her for Carly? You and Julie ought to be roommates in the loony bin. Why would you ever let Jack tell you what to do? That horse is worth millions, and you are broke, and you are not going after a legitimate claim because of some sappy promise you made to Jack. Leave Jack out of it. Well, that's what I'm trying to tell you what to do. Did something happen? Has something changed with Jack? I'm not going to get into this with you. Well, you, you've already started. You might as well finish. I, I told Jack again that it's over. Well, I know you want to make some s snappy comeback. No, I'm glad. Okay, well, thanks. Kick uh, me while I'm down. Uh, well, what do you expect me to say? I've told you I think this is a good idea, and finally you take my advice and realize that Jack is wrong. Yeah, what I did had nothing to do with what you think. Look, I hope you have a very, very happy life with Barbara. <laughs> mm. Talk about a ball and chain. Yeah, maybe. At least I'll have the money. You know, I used to think it was all about money, too. You've changed? I'm going to hold out for someone who loves me. Only me. Well, I hope, I hope you find it. I'm not giving up until I do. It's called a hostile dependency. See, Julia desperately needs you to define who she is. She is the person who loves Jack. She is the person who is Jack's wife. So you're saying that Julia doesn't have an identity of her own now? Her sense of herself on her own is pretty much non-existent, yeah. So what's the hostile part? Well, no one wants to be dependent on another person for something so basic. She's furious about it, but she refuses to acknowledge it. So she's angry at me because she needs me so much. Well, that's about it, yeah. Well, if, if, if Julia is so dependent and so angry, how far will she go to hold on to me? Hey, what are you talking about? Would you give Julie and me some time to talk, please? Julie, I'll be right down the hall if you need me. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I took so long. I got a little stuck back in the session because the doctor was telling me what a good job I did. I told him it was because my husband was here. 
That's good. Bob Hughes stopped by to see you today. Oh, again? He's such a nice man. It sounds like you found him a very easy man to talk to. Sure. Why not? Julia, you told Dr. Hughes that you got pregnant on purpose. That we planned it together. No, I didn't. He must have misunderstood. I told him how much I was counting on having a baby. Why do you keep going back to this? Because if there's one thing I never questioned about you, Julia, it was your honesty. I've always believed you. Believed in you, in your goodness. I don't understand. Even after you confessed about telling Winston Lowe where to find Carly, and after you admitted telling Craig that Carly was wearing a wire, I still believed you. Well, I don't like to keep secrets. I, I need everything out in the open. Mm. That's why I told you all those things. All right, but when? When did you tell me? After the damage had already been done. So, when are you going to confess about what you're really doing in this hospital? What are you talking about, Jack? I'm here because you insisted I be here. Right, because of your fragile mental state. To save you from being arrested. You killed that horse. But when did you tell me about it? After I told you I was leaving. No, Jack, no. I told you after you pressed me and pressed me to tell you, you are twisting things all And you're out. lying. This illness is not real. It's manufactured. Carly was right, wasn't she? Don't you say that name no, to me! No, You lied about Winston, though. You lied about getting David Stenbeck out of town, and you lied about your pregnancy. You have been lying to me since we got back together, haven't you? Haven't you?